please ignore my hair okay I mean I did wash it today and I wanted to do something but then I just spent so much time on my makeup that I was just like exhausted and then I did put it up in a ponytail and then it didn't look good with this dress so I just had to open it so now you get to see this mess but yeah let's get started hey guys welcome back to my channel and today I have a good old club factory haul for you guys so i did a club factory haul i think six to eight months back if i'm not wrong and i finally shopped from them again now, i have to be honest my shopping experience this time wasn't the same as the last time um, when i say that what i mean is the last time when i was shopping i did see um, a lot of like trendy pieces for quite cheap rate but then this time it wasn't like that at all i did not see a lot of good things which I would want to buy and the things that I would want to buy or I wanted to buy were just not cheap at all so I don't know why Club Factory is not Club Factory anymore like what is Club Factory for you I mean for me it's like you get good trendy clothes for cheap right but now this time at least I did not find that to be the case everything was quite up there in the price and yeah but anyways I did shop quite a few things and let's get started I still have all of the products in the Ziploc bag just to have the haul feel going on. Uh, so the first item that I bought is this um, knee length dress. It's almost knee length. Uh, this is how it looks like. It looks like a jailer dress almost. That's what my sister and I call these type of dresses. But I do really like that they provided this sort of a stringy belt over here so you can like customize how fit or how uh, comfy you want the dress to look like um, this is very simple and that's why I wanted it in the first place to you know run errands in this you know just like throw it on and it still hugs your body very nicely because of the belt that they have provided and it looks very nice it's good for your movies or just like going out here and there for brunch and just like normal casual occasions i think this will look pretty good so this is the first item i'll leave the price the name the picture uh, the size as well on the screen so don't forget that also i'll try to link it in the description box as well so this was the first item okay next up i have this cute little top now when i was looking for good blouses slash tops i just did not find anything like nothing really caught my attention except for this uh, i think I mean this looks very girly but like elegant at the same time I don't know how to explain it uh, the only problem that I feel is that this is quite transparent can you tell yeah quite transparent that's the only problem I have with this uh, but again the size and everything will be listed in the description box um, this is in the size S by the way I just happened to look at it and it looks very nice especially this area right here it fits perfectly and then it just like looks very flowy at the bottom um, really nice again for any casual outing or just when you want to look dressy I and mean, you want to dress up but you don't want to look overdressed uh, and still look girly and feminine I think the color is pretty good also this comes in four shades if I'm not wrong and I really like this blush pinky color so this is the next item okay so this next piece is actually not in the ziplock bag I mean it did come in ziplock bag it's just not in ziplock bag right now and that's because i've been using this okay so let me tell you i've been really into fitness lately uh not gymming as such but like just weights and hit exercises and all of that i really want to get back in shape you know like i'd almost given up the fact like i knew that i did put on weight when i was in the early shift for six months but then i was just like mm, i'm happy i mean i don't look bad it's fine but now i'm like no girl no i want to be fit so i bought this jeggings to look good when i'm exercising now to be honest i just exercise at home i watch a bunch of youtube videos i have my dumbbells uh, i do hit exercises why do i even want to look cute right but then my sister happened to like record a video of me exercising um in just like my regular clothes and it looked so <laughs> funny that i was like no that's enough i want proper like exercise clothes and that's why i thought of going for something like this now this i picked up because this has that uh, trendy uh, transparent mesh detailing um over here and then over here as well and that's why i picked it up i really like the fit of it it fits me very well but then i do get that camel toe 
which I think is pretty inevitable. I mean, you you will get it in any sort of leggings, jeggings, at least in my opinion. Again, I don't have a lot of experience in jeggings and stuff, so uh, you do get that. But I don't mind it. The fit is quite nice on me, so I've been using this quite a lot, and I've been really liking it. Okay, so next up, let's move on to something that I thought is a romper sorts, but it's actually two different pieces. So this is the pant and then this is the top now when you look at the picture i don't know why maybe i just like misread or i didn't read it enough properly or whatever but i thought that this is like a one piece sort you know but it's not but i don't mind it when you do wear it together like when you tuck this thing into the pant it does look like a like a proper one piece sort of a clothing item you know so I don't mind it the only problem again is that this is quite short um, I wouldn't be wearing this short of a short outside you know what I mean so that's the only problem but then again it looks very cute um, this is going to be very good if you are going to like you know hang out with girls um, sleepover or something like that it's really really casual and comfy again you can also sleep in it that's what i think i'm going to go with this do with this go with this do with this okay so now this is the only jewelry piece that i bought now i've been seeing a lot of people wearing this uh, i saw this on kathleen like she was wearing this in one of her videos um this is essentially a handcuff and this is how it looks on me i just wish this wasn't as golden i mean on camera it looks quite rose goldish but it's not in real life this is like a proper gold and um, I don't think because of the color it looks very trendy you know if it was like a muted gold or maybe a rose gold this would look quite nice also this is quite loose I mean I don't know like if I don't have my watch let me show you yeah I mean I don't know like I wanted it somewhere here also you cannot really tighten it so yeah I mean it's good I'm not sure if I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. Last but not the least, I think this is my favorite thing that I bought from Club Factory this time. And this is large, huge block heels. Uh, I don't have any footwear which is like this high, you know, heel wise. But um, I do really like it. It looks so trendy. I paired this up with the uh, casual first dress that I showed you guys, the white and black uh, stripes one and this heel just like took that dress to another level so i think if you want to like add a little bit of sexiness or just or if you just want to look a little bit more dressy with any of your casual dress then this is going to be amazing again um i did have a little bit of a hard time just walking in these at the beginning because again this is my first time uh, wearing something which is this high now talking about the comfort on these heels it's definitely not comfortable because again this is the first time i'm wearing such high heel but then it's also not you know pokey or it doesn't feel um uncomfortable wow that's like a really contradictory sentence but what i'm trying to say it's not comfortable to walk in but it's also not uncomfortable to wear i hope that makes sense but uh yeah that's all these are all the products that i bought this time from club factory uh this time i'm actually quite satisfied because the last time if you have watched my last video uh one of the clothing piece the set that i bought a uh, top and then like a pant set did not go well the pant was like quite cheap and the material wasn't good enough but this time i'm quite happy with almost all the products yes yeah, all the products actually except for this one. I just hope that the color was a little muted and it was functional, you know, like it's not. Uh, that's the only problem, like that's the only dud product. But other than that, all of the products that I bought this time, I'm pretty happy with. The quality feels good. Uh, nothing feels cheap at all. Now, one thing that I do want to add with my shopping experience this time from Club Factory is that I did get uh, like a proper tracking information on the website um as opposed to last time when they just had what 
5% of the information like you barely get to know where your products are uh, when it's going to reach where it is nothing no information at all but this time um, I'm just like on the website and it did tell me order confirmed processing by factories preparing by club factory warehouse shipped and delivered so I did get like a okay you cannot see but I did get a proper like tracking information so that was pretty good I was I know that where my product is and by what time I should expect the delivery to happen so that was pretty good again okay so that's about it that was my mini and quick club factory haul for today I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know your favorite piece from my haul uh, mine has to be this one this heel and um, the white dress that I bought and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye Fitness. Right.